And we're back. Uh, last thing of the year for Foundations of Algebra, writing equations of lines given two points. Given two points. Now, last thing we just worked on, we were given one point and we were given the slope, right? Now, we're not given the slope. We're just given two points. Okay? We're just given two points. So, what we have to use when we're given two points, notice what it says. Uh, calculate the slope using the slope formula. The slope formula. Do y'all remember the slope formula? It's okay to say no. No, I don't remember the slope formula. You don't. Good. The slope formula is this. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. That is the slope formula. I will give you that on the test. Um, so that you can see it, okay? Now you just need to know how to use it, right? It's like, all right, I get it. That's what it looks like. Now how do I use this code? Uh, this should be a review. This should be a review part. So let's go down to the first example. Using the slope formula. Using the slope formula. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. I'm going to write it again right here just so that we can see it. All right. Oh, gosh. Technical difficulties. Please do not stop the video. Fast forward if you need to. There we go. Um, so right here, write an equation of a line given points. You got 15, negative 13, 5, 27. Are we cool with that? There's two points. Uh, Emily, help us out. Tell us our X and our Y for this one. What's our X? What's our Y? Um, okay, so the first one is X. Yes. Perfect. What about the next one over here? Um, same, same thing. Yeah. Does it ever change? Yeah. No. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't change. But here, here, this is where the this is where we have to uh, add to this. This is our first x and y. Would y'all agree that it's our first one? This is our second x and y. Are we all right with that? Yeah. So what I'm going to put right here under this x, this is going to be x1 and y1. This right here is going to be x2 and y2. Those are twos, by the way, not z's. I know. I figured they look like z's. I need to put. I need to make my twos look like that, so they look more like twos. The little, the fancy two. All right. So now we plug this information into our formula. Okay. Plug this information into our formula. So remember our formula. I'll write it again. It's the third time I've written it. So let's plug our information into the formula. What is our y2 here? 27. 27. Do we see that? Yes. 27 is our y2. We got a y2 and it is 27. So we put 27 minus, what's our y1? Negative 13. This is where people get confused. They're like, coach, there's already a negative there. You have to put in negative 13. So what that looks like is 27 minus negative 13. 27 minus negative 13. Now what's our x2 here? 5 minus, what's our x1? 15. It's just 15, yeah, just 15. But it's 5 minus 15. Okay, good. Now we plug this into our calculator, so hopefully everybody has a calculator. What I would do if I were you, I would press the fraction button, that's right above the 7. Okay, so there's the 7, press the fraction button, and that's what you get. So now I'm going to plug in exactly the way it says, 27 minus negative 13, then I go down to the bottom, 5 minus 15. I press enter. Yeah, did y'all get negative four? Yeah. Perfect. So negative four. Put down negative four. I'm gonna put a fancy little. I'm gonna put a fancy little cloud around it as well. Now, what is negative four? 
What is negative 4 here? That is our what? Our m. It is our slope. Yes, good. So m equals what here? Negative 4. Do you see how we had to find that? On the last questions we did, did we have to find slope? No, it was given to us, right? Now we found slope and we put it in. All right, so now uh, we've got to find B. All right, this is where we would go back to this right here. Y equals MX plus B. Y equals MX plus B. Well, we know a few things. Uh, we had a Y. We get to pick. Which one do you want to use? Do you want to use this point or do you want to use this point? It doesn't matter. The one with the positives? I agree. I like to keep things positive myself. So right here, what's our Y then? 27 equals, what's our M? Now what's our M? Negative 4 times, what's our X? 5 plus B. It, isn't that the same exact thing we just did? Exactly. You see why I had to have you practice that first before we did this? All right. Uh, now, what is what is negative four times five? Negative twenty. Yeah, there we go. So twenty-seven equals negative twenty plus b. All right. Um, and then from there, what's the last step? Add twenty to both sides. Add 20 to both sides. So when you add 20 to a negative 20, well, you that crosses out. What's 27 plus 20? 47. 47. All right, now, our equation. Somebody raise their hand. Who can give us the equation for this? Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So a common thing here, YouTube subscribers, you know, as a teacher, okay, I ask kids to raise their hand because I want them to answer, and they feel like if they raise their hand, then they can answer. They, ha they don't wait on the hold to be called upon. Uh, I want to go with I want to go with Nigel. I want to go with Nigel. I like that. Yeah, a little plot. Little, get some snaps going on there, man. Some snaps, huh? I can't snap. Oh, man. Well, you got to work on this later. You know, the snaps right there. Uh, Nigel, excellent job right there. Excellent job right there. Okay? So, uh, before we move on, let's recap. I want to recap. All right? Um, write an equation of a line given the points 15, negative 13, 5, 27. So uh, first we need to label our x1, our y1, our x2, and our y2, which we did. All right, we labeled that x1, y1, x2, y2. We use that information to plug it into our slope uh, form, our slope formula. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We were able to plug all that information in based on, again, just looking at the points. We just looked at points, and we plugged it into the formula, and we got negative 4. So we knew that negative 4 is our slope, or that is our m. So what did we do? We went ahead and put our slope down as negative 4. Now, the last part is what we did on the essentially the last section. We wrote down y equals mx plus b. We picked a point. We said, hey, 15, negative 13, or 5, 27. The student said, hey, coach, let's do the positives. I'd rather deal with positives. And I agree. Uh, so that's what they did. They used the positives. So we plugged in the information. We used 27 for our y. M was negative 4. And then our x was 5. And then we still had the plus b. And then from there, again, just following our steps, we multiplied negative 4 times 5 and got negative 20. We brought down the 27 and the plus B. To get rid of negative 20, we added 20 to both sides, and that's how we got 47. That's how we got 47. 
And then Nigel helped us out and wrote it in the correct formula. Remember, y equals mx plus b. So y equals our m, which is negative 4. We put our x in there, plus our b, which is 47. Excellent job all around right there. Excellent job all around right there. So we should be able to go through example 2 and 3 pretty simply, or pretty quickly, however you want to say it. Uh, so for example number 2, example 2, uh, again let's label our x and y. What's our x and y here? Yep. Good. And what about 0 and negative 35? X, Y, A. Um, now remember, we have to label our X1 and our Y1, our X2 and our Y2. So because this was first, this is going to be our X1 and Y1. So put 1 down for both. Because this was second, this will be our X2 and our Y2. Hopefully my 2s look a little more like 2s now. All right, now we have our formula. I'm going to rewrite the formula one more time. This is the last time I'm going to write this formula. So, what plugs in to our formula here? What is our first thing that we plug in for Y2? All right, I guess I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> minus 19. Minus 19. Please negative 36, but it's okay. Yeah. Zero minus six. Excellent. Um, I'm gonna let the kids put this uh, put this into the calculator. So go ahead, put it in your calculator. What'd you get? Is it nine? Yep. Show is. Nine. So what is nine? What, what does that mean? What is nine? That is our M. M means our slope. Good. M is our slope. So now, uh, following the same procedure here, right? We have Y equals MX plus B. Uh, which one would y'all like to use? Which point? The positives, I like it. Let's take the positive. So what's our y? Our y is um, 19. 19, there we go. What's our m? 9. 9 times, what's our x? 6. 6 plus b. Perfect. What, uh, now we multiply, what's 9 times 6? 54 plus B. How do we get rid of that positive 54? Minus 54 on both sides. So what's 19 minus 54? Negative 35. All right. And Emily, with the information we have now, we have our M and we have our B. How would we write that equation? So y equals, that's a good place to start. And then what goes next? 9x. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, minus 35. Excellent job right there. Excellent job right there. Snaps. I'll snap a little bit for Ja right there. A little, little snap for Ja too. All right, good work, good work. Uh, excellent job. Uh, it's exactly right, exactly right all around right there. Um, I want to just do one more, and then I'm going to let you all jump into some practice problems. Uh, but I still want to make sure we go over all of the practice problems first. So uh, I'm going to go through this one a little more quickly, so stay with me. Hope, like, if you want to get ahead, go ahead and start. Go ahead and start. Follow the steps. But we have x1, y1, x2, y2. I'm just going to go ahead and write it in our formula. I know y2 goes on top, so that's 2 minus negative 4 over 3 minus 1. 
So 2 minus negative 4, that gives us 6. And then 3 minus 1 is 2. So 6 divided by 2 is, is it 3? Which one? Oh, that one? Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's got a little, a little sideways thing going on there. It's 3? Nice. I think that's what I got, too. 3. The answer is 3. So we know that our slope equals 3. Our slope equals 3. Now we're going to use... Which one do you want to use? Two? Oh, you mean this one right here? Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Uh, so y equals here. We wanted to use this one, the 3, 2. So x is 3, y is 2. So our y, we said, is 2 equals our m, which is 3, times our x, which is also 3, plus b. Yeah, I'm glad... I'm glad you said 9 and not 6. I feel like that's a very common mistake I see. Is that people, they want to put 6. They say, I say, what's 3 times 3? 6? I'm like, oh. <laughs> just got to shake my head and just be like, no, no, no. Uh, no, you just say shake my head? I got you. That's pretty funny. Um, I mean, see, I, I don't say like LOL. Unless I'm around like my wife, then I'll say something like that. Just because that's like an inside joke between me and her. She'll say, she'll say, she'll say LOLs. LOLs. It's kind of funny. So 2 minus 9 is negative 7. So our final formula there is y equals... Uh, yeah, there was 9. How do I get rid of a positive 9? I uh, subtracted 9 to both sides. So 2 minus 9 is negative 7. Minus 7. All right. Uh, and that was the final example uh, for finding or writing an equation with given two points. Writing an equation given two points. Uh, if you can, please uh, like this video. Subscribe to me. Uh, this video is uh, going to be up probably for the rest of my life. Uh, so when you get really old, you can go back and watch this. Uh, shout out to Second Block 2019, McEachin High School, uh, Foundations of Algebra class. Uh, great class. This was this is essentially is the last thing I'm teaching them this semester. So uh, it's a special time here in this class right now. Uh, but I'm about to tell them they have a work session for about 10 minutes and probably going to burst their bubble. Uh, so everybody have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in Algebra 1.